Preliminary WPS. The preliminary WPS is used to establish welding parameters and to provide the welder with guidance when welding the PQR test coupon. To create a preliminary WPS using ProWrite, first click the new button on the main toolbar. Under the WPS category, select preliminary and at the bottom of that screen, click the OK button. This will open the preliminary WPS user interface. Follow along as I enter the information required to establish the preliminary WPS, starting with PQR number. The test date, the system of units, the groove weld, the weld type, test requirements, applicable codes, and the bin test. Under the process information tab, you will select the number of processes in which this preliminary WPS will be recorded. In this case, we'll use one single process. Under the joint design category, you'll select your groove type, your groove angle, your product form, backing or no backing, your root opening, your backing material, and your root face. ProWrite also has a database of images. To enter a weld joint, simply click the Load Image tab. These images can also be filtered by clicking the check boxes above. Once you've entered all of your information under your Properties tab, go on to your Base Metals tab. The M button opens up the database of base metals listed under QW422 in ASME Section 9. You'll also be able to enter your thickness of your material. your method of back gouging, your initial cleaning, and under your preheat information, your minimum preheat temperature, and your maximum inner pass temperature. Preheat maintenance, and your post well heat treatment. Under the Process tab, click your F button to open the database of filler metals within the program. Your well thickness, select your position. Under the electrical slash well details tab, select your current polarity, your technique, passes per side, and notes and additional filler metals, if any. Hit the save and close, and you have now entered a preliminary WPS.